What's good, peeps? Thursday, it is 108 on the dot. Uh, Jenny Raw, real and unfiltered here. Uh, first and foremost, just wanted to give a shout out to at Carcino for Life for surprising me last night in my live stream. Sino, that was awesome. You guys, if you didn't see, I went live for the first time ever last night, and um, it was awesome. Had so much fun, and Sino surprised me. I was sitting in my room where uh, I was doing the live stream, and Gavin was actually with me. He joined me, and we were talking to Sino. Um, you know, he was commenting, and all of a sudden, there was a knock at the door, and the door opened, and who do you know? It was it was him. So that was freaking epic. That was awesome. Um, he totally surprised me, which I'm usually the one doing the surprising. So thank you, Sino. Um, and you guys, last night with the live stream, if you were on... I had, um, I ended up, the, the shit, with, the battery was at 99% when I started, so I figured I'd be good, and then wouldn't you know, um, it ended up running out of battery, so like at the end, like, right when it was getting real, real good, it was like an hour and 20 minutes into it, it just, the laptop went kaput, and then by the time we like were able to reboot it up, it was, I had just ended it, because I didn't want y'all just waiting there, but um, that was awesome, so thank you. Make sure to stay tuned in. I'm going to do another one soon because it was just too much fun. I love engaging with you guys, so keep it coming. Um, but on to my next subject here. Uh, you guys know me and my whole thing with, you know, being sober 98 days today. And with that comes accountability, which is what I'm really practicing these days. You know, not being a hypocrite, holding myself accountable. That's why I am constantly posting, be it Facebook or, you know, whatever my... Um, social media platforms are and then these videos obviously hold me accountable so I'm always talking about it I always will so if you don't like it then sorry not sorry but um, kind of you know on the subject of accountability I have to f tell you that I am feeling pretty stupid right now I kind of want to crawl into a black hole for a few minutes to be honest with you um, I don't know if you guys peeped the video I did the other day about how I can't fucking stand Karens, which I can't, but uh, maybe that's why I want to crawl into a black hole right now because I feel like my inner Karen came out just now, even though I was trying to suppress her and put her at rest. I guess maybe we got to reevaluate how we define a Karen. So, you know, I know I was talking to you about this and you were like, what the fuck is a Karen? So maybe not all hope is lost. Maybe whoever um, doesn't know what I was referring to won't can't appreciate how stupid I feel right now, which is okay. Um, but anyway, long story short, wouldn't you know, I'm back at the Jewel. I had to go do some shopping. The fruit was on sale today. So I woke my happy ass up, had my coffee and came here getting my fruit. And I forgot that it was the 4th of July, uh, holiday weekend coming up. So I was wondering why the hell everybody and their mama decided to come to Jewel at the same time I did, but they did. And when I'm in there, I do all my shopping, I buy all my fruit, I buy all my, you know, couple meals for the week. I find myself there a couple times a week, so I'm not always shopping for, you know, the entire week. So long story short, I get up to the register, and I fucking should have known, too, because a lot of times they have these sales, you guys, where it'll be like, you know, buy three and get each one at a dollar eighty-eight or some shit like that, right? So it's like a good incentive. It's like, okay, if you're gonna actually eat it and you're, you know, you like it, then why not? You're gonna have just it's a good deal. So I should have known when I'm shopping that all these chips and shit on sale for the Fourth of July weekend. I'm guessing and like you know a lot of the cracker shit, like the triscuits and the wheat thins, whatever doesn't really matter. But um, there were some sales and it was buy um, three, they're $1.88 each, but you got to buy three. So uh, I get, and, and let me just say that like a lot of that shit, um, it ends up like this has happened to me many a times. So I guess I just kind of admitted to being a Karen a couple of times, but um, a lot of the times that shit will, won't come up on the, um, when you ring it up. So it's like, you know, that shit adds up, dude. It's money. So, again, we're going to have to maybe re reevaluate the whole Karen thing because, you know, money's money. And if I'm shopping there like three times a week and I'm spending a lot of money, which I am, it's food. We spend a lot of money on food. Everyone does, but I know I do with my three boys, my big one and my two little ones. 
um, a lot of the times those sales don't come up and that's hella annoying because if you're shopping basing, basing it on the sales and then um, you're not getting, you know, the price that you thought you were going to get, hence why you bought several of the things, then it's kind of defeats the purpose, right? So I'm in the register and I'm checking out. Sure enough, I get done, spend almost $200 on food, okay? And I'm looking at the receipt, which I never used to do, but now I do because there's been so many times where I, I got home, I looked at the receipt and I was like, damn, all this shit came up wrong. Like what happened to all the sales, you know? And by that time when I'm at, when I'm at the crib and I'm home and I'm putting shit away, I'm not going to bring my ass back to the store, bring the food back with my receipt. Like that's just not what I'm going to do. So it's trained me to kind of check my receipts and check the stuff I bought to make sure it comes through. Long story short, um, a lot of the shit didn't come up. The sales didn't come up. So I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, I legit spent an extra like 20, 25 bucks on stuff that should have come up as a sale price. So as I'm walking my happy ass to the service desk, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm being a Karen. But you know what, you guys? Like, again, trying not to be a hypocrite here. So I'm calling myself out because I feel hella dumb. And I'm trying to practice accountability. So if I'm going to sit there and talk shit about someone else doing it, and then I go ahead and do it, even though it's not the same thing in my opinion, because, you know, money's money. Um, but anyway, this is why I'm calling myself out, because I feel stupid, and I feel like I just did what I said not to do. Um, and talk to her ended up rectifying it, got my shit that I was supposed to. So see, I, I, it, had I not said anything, I would have just gone home and spent an extra $25 on shit that I bought based on the fact that it was on sale. So boom. I mean, I don't know. I don't think I, I don't really think that's wrong. You know, if they're going to put a sale price up, they better honor that shit. And if it doesn't come through the system, I don't necessarily think it's wrong to go and point it out. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts, guys. But just, you know, regardless of what you think, understand that I'm trying to keep it real here. And, you know, I'm putting myself on blast because I feel stupid. But I also don't think that it, it was necessarily wrong for me to, you know, go call out something that was advertised. But here's the kicker. Get my ass out to the car after feeling hella dumb. Put all my shit away. Tell me why when I put all the stuff in the back of the car... One of the last bags I got to had my bread, my sliced bread for sandwiches, my hamburger buns, and my hot dog buns. Tell me why they were all smushed, like to a pulp. And I was like, oh no, because I knew I was going to have to go back in and be more of an idiot. Because what am I going to do, man? That's not my fault. This shit's all smushed. Am I just going to leave and be like, oh fuck it, too bad, so sad, I feel stupid, so I'm not going to go in? No, it's not my fault. I'm not blaming anyone for it. I bought hella shit. I put it all, they put, they put it all in the cart, get out and it smashed. So walk back in there, found the same chick, Marcy, God bless you. Shout out to Marcy cause she's awesome. I apologize profusely. I said, if my husband only knew what I was doing right now, he'd probably crawl in a hole and die with me cause he'd be so fucking embarrassed. But then again, He'd be the first one to point out that uh, I save money if I save money. So, gotcha, boo. Save money. Even though I probably embarrassed myself and you in the process. But anyway, went back in, got my shit. She was real cool about it. She's like, no, dude, what are you going to do? That's not your fault. It got smashed in the bottom of the cart through no fault of your own. Go get new stuff and bring it up to me and you're all good. So I did. And now I'm sitting in the car. And, yeah. So that's my exciting story for the day. But again, if I'm going to keep it real and practice accountability like I said I was going to, then that's what I'm doing, right? Speaking of accountability, guys, remember I told you the whole deal with I don't like to wear glasses because I used to wear glasses to sometimes hide my eyes. So, nice and uh, clean for you. Clear, if you will. Just got to point that out because, like I said, it's weird. I guess it's a good thought process, a good mindset to have, but it's weird that I feel the need to show my eyes because like I said there'd be times where I'd have my sunglasses on and um, you could probably see I was stoned through the sunglasses so that should tell you something anyway um, 
thanks for listening, peeps, to another Jenny rant. You'll hear a lot of them venting, ranting, just, you know, again, it all comes down to me checking myself, keeping it real, holding myself accountable, all good things in my opinion, all, all good things I can attribute to my new mindset, so you guys have a good day, I might get on later, I don't know if I'm going to get on live, but I'll probably make another video, I'm going to go to Nana's house, we'll see, couldn't get her yesterday, she was lying in bed, so, you know, at 102, you're tired a lot, so, God willing, I have a lot more time left with her, but I, uh, take as much advantage, advantage of, as I can of spending time with her, so, on that note, I won't keep rambling, I gotta get my shit home, my frozen shit, my fruit, all that goodness, but, uh, you guys stay up, and, um, yeah, hopefully I'll be on live again soon, and hopefully there won't be any, uh, technical difficulties or glitches, but, uh, I appreciate it if you get on and engage me and conversate, I gotta catch up with the current events, Sino sent me something this morning about that dumb bitch, um, I can't even pronounce her name, so I'll just call her dumb bitch, because she is one. Um, the chick that was uh, real close with Jeffrey Epstein that got arrested. So, happy to hear that, even though I don't know much about it. i got to go home and watch a documentary. i got to stay tuned with uh, more current events. I avoided the news for a long time because of this COVID shit, because it was depressing. But, you know, ignorance is bliss sometimes. What can I say? And uh, on that note, peace out. Have a good day. Make a count.